Hi, my name is Alan Simpson. This is a short excerpt from the course I have on Fast API and SQL model. Here I'll just show you how to debug with breakpoints in VS Code. Now at this point in the course we've already created our main.py and some models, so we're just kind of picking it up from there. So what follows is actually from the course. Hey, it's Alan. Welcome back. Before we get into any more complex stuff than what we've already done, I want to talk about how you can debug your own code with breakpoints in VS Code. And to get started, just open up your project and open up main.py. And then you want to scroll down to the bottom of main.py. Okay, and then I'm going to type in a quick comment here for future reference. But then basically what we want to do is set up a block with if name equal main using those dunder names. And if you're familiar with Python, you've seen that before. It just means that this code only executes if we run it directly. It doesn't execute if we just import this file. All right, so it's if name equal main with the double underscores on those names like that, colon, and then we need to run uvcorn, and the syntax for this is going to be uvcorn.run, pair of parens, and then the name of your app, which is app, and then comma host equal, and instead of the local host address, you just put in all zeros, but the port is still 8,000, so it's comma port equal 8,000. And I'm getting a squiggly because I didn't import that. Um, I could run up here to the imports at the top of main.py, add import uvcorn, and that'll take care of that problem. And really, that's all you need to do to set it up. To test it out, we'll add a breakpoint. So let's come to uh, our home thing and click to the left of the line number next to where you want the breakpoint to be. I did it right near the return for the home function there. Okay, now I'm just going to close that whole page out. Now let's say we want to try that out. Open main.py, click run, and then hit start debugging, and pick fast API from the drop down that appears. And down in your terminal, you should eventually see a link to uh, the home address. Control click that or command click it as usual. But this time, You'll notice in the browser that it's not doing anything yet. That's because it hit your breakpoint and it's waiting for you to step through the code. And to step through the code, you can use this arrow right here. And when I do that in this one, it executes the code and that's it. I mean, because there's only one line of code in there. But you can see the code finished executing and now I see my page. To remove a breakpoint, you can just click it again or click Run and choose Remove All Breakpoints to get them all out of there. All right, let's try it again. This time we're going to try it with this Post a Category function and see how it behaves. My debug bar is still open up top here, so I can just click Restart in that. Then again, down in the terminal, Control click or Command click that link to the home page. All right, and this time we'll go to Post a Category. We'll try it out. I'll intentionally put in one that's way too long so it gets rejected just to see how that plays out. When I say too long, that refers to the original model where I say the category name has to be at least three characters but no more than 15. All right, so after I type that in, I click Execute. Now I get back a server response that says it was no good. I didn't hit any breakpoints though, but that's because it already got kicked out for not being validated. It's not even going to attempt to put it in the database. So that's not a problem with VS Code or anything. It's just the fact of the matter that it isn't even close to putting it in the database, so it never even hit that breakpoint. Now, if I put in a valid category name, let's say our second category is CSS. All right, that's three characters. So if I click Execute and step through the code, it should take it. And so, you know, you can go through line by line touch the mouse pointer to any variable name to see what's in that variable at that moment of execution and just go through line by line like that if you want. You may see a little activity down in the terminal as each line executes. But once you get done all the way through and it ends, if I go back to my page now, I got my successful response, 200. So that ran fine. To end the debug session, you can just click the little stop button up here in the debug bar. 
So now over in the left pane, we can click the uh, Explore icon at the top left of that to get back to our Explorer pane if you need that. And now we've got a successful response on our test there. So our database should have two rows in the category table now. So let's open up the database and uh, browse that category table. And sure enough, we have two rows in there now. So our code's working perfectly. That's it for this little YouTube tutorial. Take a look at the description for a link to all the code from the course as well as links to the course itself. All right, thanks for watching.